and welcome back to Forge by Geeks Playing People of the Stars Hero Mode for Kingdom Death Monster. As always, thank you very much to our patrons on Patreon. And uh, sometime uh, Monday, we should be putting up our... ...to uh, get everything taken care of. You We're probably... saying building this up, but, like, we have to, like, hunt the fucker. Oh, yeah, we need to hunt the fucker first, don't we? Yeah, you can't just, like, you know, be like, oh, yeah, we're totally gonna do this. Like, we do have to hunt him. Yes. So we're going, we've, uh, a little bit off camera after our planning session. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we that don't... That was a total failure. Yeah, we never stop streaming. That's one of the things. People who watch us live get to see all the fun. Um, th we just started a new recording, though. Uh, but, uh, off... Off uh, recording, we uh, went over stuff and looked through it and decided, ah, oh, fuck it, we're going to try a level 1 Sunstalker. Because there is a couple things we'd like to get from him, and he has a pretty decent widespread resource deck looking at it. So That is a shit ton of resources, holy crap. Yeah, it's pretty well mixed up, though. I mean, it's a little loaded organ-wise, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. If we want Gormite. Uh-huh. Uh, no, we do have a chance of getting Gormite if we hunt a level 3 Gorm. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure that's going to be fun. Yeah, I don't think that's the route we've chosen to take to getting Gormite. We wanted to uh, get a couple potions to give us dice rerolls to yeah. get the higher uh, count. I think that's at least what we were planning. Yeah. So, leave two spaces and then, yeah. Okay, cool. Oh, man. Here we go again. <laughs> so he's all the way in the back. Actually, no. The uh, Phoenix is all the way in the back. Oh, it is. Yes. But getting around that uh, Spidiculis is always fun. Yes. <laughs> oh, yeah, you're kind of right. It's a little hard to hide, isn't it? Yes, it is. I feel kind of silly that I didn't really notice. <laughs> <laughs> the wonders of the Sunstalker. Yeah. So he's going to be starting, so we're only doing level one to start, because we have n no fucking clue really what we're getting oh, into. we need to find the sun, the solar track. Oh, I'll get it. Okay. Uh, tell me when to stop. Now. Okay. I'll let you deal these out and I'll grab the solar track. Stuff we've never used. Hope you don't need insanity for this fight. Uh oh. Why do you say that? Because Hadar don't got shit. <laughs> but it's a level one, right? How hard could it possibly be? Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, that has been your favorite, lo your famous lost words moment of the day. Yes, it has. So I believe that this is the sundial. Right here. Um, I don't think we need this. Is this part of this fight, Nicole? No, that okay. is the Flower Knight. Ah. But Sundial! Yay, Sundial! I'm not so oh, I'm giving myself insanity because technically I should get more insanity. I do not know how the sundial actually works. So for right now, I'm going to put it off the top here, so it's still technically in view of the camera. Oops, uh -huh. as I try to break your menu. Life is complicated. Yes. <laughs> oh, now you're just being mean to me, Murex. Seriously, you make me want to do that. <laughs> Using an actual light to show what's light and dark. Put like a really bright like LED light bulb somewhere yeah. that follows around. Except the uh, problem is is that the... Um... Oh, shit. Hmm? Mm, this is yeah. a little out of place. They um, were really hard to attach. 
Yeah. Uh, the uh, the thing is, is that the light rules are weird. Like the Sunstalker doesn't cast a shadow. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we need the uh, priority target token. Oh right. There we go. Thank you. Okay, so we're gonna give this a shot. Let's see who goes first. Yeah. I should remove the mouse. Uh, Not me. I got an eight. So that would be. Oh, I thought that was one. Okay. I no, I thought I had oh. rolled a one. Oh no. You actually did not. So Hadar goes first. But it would be so awesome! Who cares how hard the rigging is? That would be awesome! Random event. 78. As you're like, fancy! Oh god, I love that book. I know, it's so good. 78, huh? Okay. Oh, that reminds me. Oh. Need to grab this. Oops. As I break stuff. Yeah, I'm definitely hearing breaking stuff. All right. The survivors find a corpse dressed in brightly colored clothing clutching something to its chest. The event revealer may investigate. If they do, they gain plus one courage and roll 1d10. If any survivor has a whip, they lash the corpse from afar, add, one to, add four to your roll. Otherwise, roll again on the hunt event table before moving on the hunt board. So, what are we doing? Uh, deciding what we're going- I'm deciding what we're doing on this board. I've got my own book! Oh, yes. <laughs> Alright, so apparently this world has explosives. Oh, awesome. Um... Transparent translucent sun star. Oh wow. Let's see. Yeah, that. Yeah, you might be able to get away if you mounted LEDs correctly. Oh god, you're making me want to try to do this now. Horrible, horrible viewers we've got. <laughs> so a ten percent chance of a dismembered arm. I am not immune to dismembered arms. That sounds bad. Mm. Eh. I'm feeling brave. Okay. So I gain a courage. Um, I do not have rerolls, just for note. Uh, doesn't matter. I made a decision. I'm well, we can always cure that with bed and dairy. Dismembered oh, arm. Oh wait, no, that's broken. <laughs> yeah. No, we are not curing dismembered arm with a bed. Sweet. Seven. His hands are empty. If the settlement has the cannibalized disorder, uh, cannibalize, I uh, gain one random basic resource. We do have cannibalize. Yes. So we gain one random basic resource. Sweet. His hands are empty. Basically, you gain the principle. Well, no, with graves, you gain plus one understanding. So if we had had graves, it would have been plus one understanding for this one. It's just. I think in some ways we want resource more. Yeah. Not being picky or anything, unless it was Chicago Bear. He only needs two more understanding to become a witch. Yeah. Technically, Hadar could get two more understanding and get White Secret, which would be nice, but... <laughs> that could be interesting. Okay, get a monster bone. Okay, so now... Oh, my turn. Oh, I get the first actual Sunstalker hunt card that we've never seen. Yeah, you get both of the Sunstalker hunt cards. <laughs> Heliophobia. You begin to think about hunting the sun. If a survivor has the emotionless disorder, they have a very logical discussion with you about this, uh, and this event ends. Okay. I don't think we have anybody with emotionless. No. Um, otherwise, you are overwhelmed in panic. Gain plus two insanity as you sp spend a painfully long time curled up in a tiny ball denying everything. Move the sun stalker two spaces away as I waste time. At least he didn't pass overwhelming darkness. Yes. And hey, honestly speaking, we want Chicago Bear to get insanity. He's our m immortal guy. Yeah, okay. So, monster controller moves. That was weird. Yeah. Um, salted dream. That also sounds really bad. Mm-hmm. 
Uh, the event revealer happens upon an entity busily sculpting with white ash. It pauses, opening a maw to flash its work with light. Suddenly realizing they are dreaming, the event revealer may wake up or continue the dream. Mm -hmm. If I wake up, I groggily shake the dream from my mind. Uh, your eyes have a f the flash of teeth imprinted on them, gain negative one accuracy token, and plus five survival. Mm -hmm. If I continue dreaming, a one to five, uh, the entity I notice attacks. If I have less than five courage, I suffer three brain damage and wake up. Um, I do not have less than five courage. Six plus, you awaken warm and cozy. You can't recall what happened, but you feel braver. Gain a courage. Okay. The nature of this, it says, if you have less than five courage, you suffer three brain damage and wake up, which implies that you keep rolling if you have more than uh, three courage, so you'll eventually get the six plus. Would you agree? Yeah, that's kind of weird. Yeah, so if you have more than three, or if you have more than five, or five or more courage. No, it usually would have said otherwise roll again on this table. Yeah. So I think, I think probably it only happens once. Doesn't really matter, because I have more than five courage and I have max courage. So by doing that, I don't gain the courage. But oh, I don't, okay. But I don't suffer the uh, brain damage either. So you're going to continue the dream. Yeah, I continue the dream. Technically, I, uh, he attacks me, but I'm fine. Okay. Yeah, because I would rather not get that negative one accuracy token I'm already maxed on survival. Yeah, that kind of sucks. Though, don't we have Song of the Brave? Uh, yes, why? Because when you have Song of the Brave, then when you uh, arrive at the showdown, you can remove one <gasps> negative token, I think. That's right, that's right. Okay, so now bedtime no <laughs> Hey, P Fired, thank you for joining. <laughs> yes, so. this is, we've never fought the Sunstalker before, so we're going in blind on this. Nine. Ooh. God, I remember that time when I couldn't find the fucking hunts to save my life. Well, I've got my book set with the things going right down the hunt first hunt page. Yeah. Oh, we seem to have a very light, um, inspired campaign. <laughs> Golden light. The golden light blinds the survivors, stopping them in their tracks. The light shines from a single source. The event revealer is compelled to investigate. <laughs> they gain one courage and roll on the table. Roll one d10. Um, if the event revealer is blind and they walk in the wrong direction and gain plus three insanity, roll again on the hunt event table and do not investigate the light. Wow. But I am not blind, so. <laughs> I am on both of mine. Okay. Seven. You wander through the light bathed in a warm, awful feeling. You don't find anything other than exposure. Suffer monster event level event damage to a random hit location. Body. So one damage to your body. Oh no. oh no, you went from seven to six. The horrors. Okay, so that was that. <laughs> we actually didn't look through the deck, really. We took a brief peek, but just to make sure we weren't going to get completely fucked, but really don't understand this fight. Okay, so now another random hunt event, this time for Hadar. Woohoo! 46. And if this doesn't go horribly, we will enter the fight. River. The survivors come to the edge of a river of blood. Non-insane survivors suffer one brain event damage at the sight of it. So my guys are fine with this. Yeah, Hadar takes a brain dam light brain damage. Aww. Uh, the survivors must investigate in order to pick up their quarry's trail. Each survivor rolls 1d10. If no survivor successfully finds the monster's trail, roll again on the hunt event table before moving on the hunt board. Okay. Blech. Okay, so are we gonna roll in order? Or... Yeah, let's just all roll and then we'll go around, starting with your monster controller. Alright, so Hadar rolled 7. 
you realize that the Blood River is filled with the bloated corpses of unrecognizable monsters. You feel compelled to fish some out. Gain one random basic resource. Okay, then. If you are wearing heavy gear, you fall in and swallow blood and soft bloated monster bits, which reduce your survival to one. Oh, shit. Ouch. Okay, so now it moves on to Chicago Bear, I believe. Okay. That would be a two. You lose your balance and fall into the river of blood. Instantly, a massive parasite crams its way down your throat, savaging your insides on the way in. <laughs> Suffer the broken rib severe body injury. You hope that's all the parasite does to you. Oh, shit. You can take that five times. It even hurts to breathe. Suffer minus one permanent speed. This oh. injury is permanent and can be recorded multiple times. Gain one bleeding token. Oh, that sucks. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is a bad event. I think you might be able to heal broken you rib can. with that. Okay. I'm pretty certain you can. I will double check. So that's minus one permanent speed and a bleed token, you said. Yes. Which is about to happen to one of your other characters. Yep. Um, how do we get out? We will have to, like, none of us rolled a nine. So oh. we're going to have to roll again on the hunt event table before moving. Okay. So your other character was a, a five. five. Your quarry has defecated in the blood. Suffer one event damage to a random hit location from sifting through the fecal blood water too long. Okay, roll me a hit location. Head. Okay, just one? Yes. That is fine. Six to five. All right. Yes, yes he did. So, yes he did. Bedtime noble. You lose your balance and fall into the river of blood. Instantly a massive parasite crams its way down your throat, savaging your insides on the way in. Suffer the broken rib severe body injury. So that is negative one permanent speed. Ouch. And a broken rib. And a bleed token. So we still need to discover beds, don't we? Uh, I can't remember. Yes. No, we still haven't figured out how to bet, huh? Yep. But, yes, it will heal all broken rib severe injuries. Okay. Alright, so because none of us successfully found the monster's <laughs> trail, we have to roll again on the hunt event table. Wow. Uh, 64 this time. I don't know, the bears are winning games this season. That's a big improvement. Stone Fountain. Two cupped stone hands rise out of the ground. The hands hold clear cold water that trickles through the stone fingers in a seemingly endless supply. I will check that. Any survivor may consume from the fountain. If they do, gain plus one courage and roll 1d10. If no one consumes, roll again on the hunt event table before moving on the hunt board. Let's see. Oh, that's not too bad. Alright, so Hadar is going to try to consume from the fountain. Yay! One, the water is clear until it enters your lips where it suddenly turns into blood. Um, you spit out the foul liquid and suffer monster level brain event damage. Joke's on you, I'm already lightly brain damaged. <laughs> if you have the hemophobia disorder, you also suffer monster level event damage to the body as you vomit violently in disgust. So, nothing happened to me essentially except that I gained a courage. Oh, nice. So... You can gain a courage by rolling on the table, but you may take brain event damage, uh, or you may gain a survival. Hmm. I can gain a courage, though? Yes. Okay, what's the odds of getting a courage? You always get the courage. Okay, what's the odds of... 40% chance of getting a one brain event damage, and a 20% chance of gaining survival. Okay. Uh, Chicago Bear will roll on the table. Okay. Four. Uh, brain event damage. And I get a courage, though. Yes. That's his first courage! Oh, wow. <laughs> Alright, uh, anybody else on your side going? Nope, he's maxed on courage. Okay, Grumpy bedtime is, maxed. is going to consume as well. Two. Okay, well. Hey, you just did your courage event. Yeah, I just got awake. Sweet! And he goes down to... Or she goes down to four... Or six brain. That's not too bad. Yeah. Forgot to hey, Squeezebox, thank you for joining. 
10 and 6, right? All right, so now awake from the Dragon King. Awaken! Uh, laughter fills your ears, overwhelming your senses. The world is unforgiving and deadly. The only thing to do is laugh freely and in defiance. Before you know it, your voice joins the mirthful chorus in your spirit stores. Nothing is so terrible that it cannot be mocked and in so doing diminished. By the way, he fired. Ooh, that's disgusting. Disgusting. Here, taste this. All right. Gain the following based on the current game phase. Gain survival up to the settlement survival limit. I already had it. Because this is bedtime, not anybody else. It couldn't have been your character that got dropped to one. Yeah, that no, would have been nice. That would have been really nice. In any case, that completes our hunt. Sweet. Ah, oh, that is a hunt. Yep. And now... For a Sunstalker, I assume he starts in the center of the board. Yes, he does. So what fancy terrain do we get out of this? I assume we get his salt terrain and two, two uh, additionals. Uh, he has an interesting setup. Okay. Oh, that is the Sunstalker. It's our very first time fighting it. Yes, he starts at the start in the center of the board. Uh, no random terrain. Wait, no random? No. Holy crap. Uh, four stone column terrain tiles and one salt sculpture card. That's it. Okay, so stone columns and salt sculptures. Oh, sorry, I'll pull those off. Can you see the yellow? No, I can't. Oh, yeah, I can see the yellow. Okay, okay, yeah, the so yellows are the stone skull, uh, the stone columns, um, columns, and the uh, the purple are the sculptures. Yep. Okay, so that would be four away from him, and God, thinking that these are salt sculptures is creepy as fuck. In line three, off the side. Need to move that stuff from their spot. Oh yeah, these are the salt sculptures. What she was saying is kind of creepy as fuck. Oh, I didn't see where to put the salt sculptures. Um, so that would be just above and below him, four from the side. Okay, I got it. There is a great castle in the sky shaped like a sword. At the top stands the storm. Tired of its ineffective challengers, the storm sought to give them an advantage. The storm dragged the oldest son into the sky and chained it to the top of its castle to give its challengers light. Now, when a challenger is defeated and rain strikes the stone-faced floor, the sun cries out for help, igniting the sky with desperate flashes of light. Wow, that's creepy as fuck. Oh, All right. yes, things are about to get salty. Yeah. <laughs> salty, salty, salty. Okay. Some is placed on that. All right. So, um... Solar energy, sundial, shadows of darkness... Light and shadow and shade. There you go. So uh, we put the sundial there, but otherwise, if you can educate the viewers on what's going to go on with this, <laughs> I will try my best. Yeah, I mean. Okay, so we have the sundial. Standing survivors and obstacle terrain tiles cast shadow in the direction indicated above. Shadows are one space long. The sun stalker shades and knockdown survivors do not cast shadows. Oh, so the Sunstalker itself doesn't? Yes. So uh, survivors themselves do end all of these other obstacles on the board. Yes. Okay, and I presume it starts facing the way it's aimed. Now, we've got this turned sideways, so I'm just going to start it turned. Okay. Um, to match up. We have something called Solar Energy. After the monster performs AI, place it face down on the solar track. Oh. Which is the solar track? That's the... this. Oh! Um... Instead of in the discard pile, the number of face-down cards 
currently equals the sun value. Wow. Oh. That gets interesting. Okay. So I will move some of this stuff out of the way. Well, actually, no, that, that'll mean my camera, my arm goes in the way. I'll put my dice in here. And this will be our solar track. Do you have anybody with Oracle's eye? Uh, yes, I do. Okay. Um, Shadows of Darkness. Place one shade in the shadow of each. If the shadow of, uh, of the terrain tile is fully occupied, do not place a shade. What are shades? I don't know if we have an... Look in the, the rest of the cards that you have. Oh yeah, but I don't know what to use for the minions for it. Uh, I don't know either. So we probably just need to grab something to use for that. Yeah. Um, we'll use the black uh, dice. Okay. Yeah, so, the sh so if Shadows of Darkness kicks, one shade will go in the shadow of each terrain tile. Wow. <laughs> they have a toughness of eight for us. And they're two speed, six plus accuracy, one damage. And cause bleed. <laughs> but if you kill one, you get a survival. Okay. So, wow. Alright, so note, a level one Sunstalker has a legendary card. Oh no. <laughs> Salt Zombie Disorder, that's kind of cool. Light and Shadow. A survivor in the space where a shadow is cast is in darkness. A survivor in the darkness cannot be in the light. A survivor everywhere else is in the light. Okay, so pretty straightforward with that. Alright, so... So you'll need these three. Our legendary card is Shadow Dance. Perform Shadows of Darkness, then all shades perform a minion action. Oh, that's bad. Yeah. So we want that gone. Hey, at least their accuracy is shit. Yeah. A little bit of evasion, you're all good. Which I think we all have a little bit. <laughs> One of these cards is red light, green light. <laughs> Seriously? A soft green light fills the atmosphere. <laughs> a harsh red light fills the atmosphere. All survivors in light suffer a solar plus star damage. Rotate the sundial 90 degrees clockwise. A soft green light fills the atmosphere. A harsh red light fills the atmosphere. All survivors in light suffer, like, sun plus star damage. Rotate the sundial 90 degrees clockwise. So in other words, end result, if you're in the light when this shit happens... Mm -hmm. Oh my god, this is sadistic. Uh-huh. Oh. Oh. You just realized that. Oh. So, we want red light, green light gone. So what happens if you're in the light? You suffer the solar plus star damage to, uh, yeah, to a random hit location. So I we guess. want to kill this guy quick. Yeah. And we don't want him playing a lot of AI cards. Except the sun starts on the other side of the, like, the salt starts on the other side of the board. So if you don't get over there and get that quick, you ain't getting the fucking salt. So you, like, yeah. So as we're running and we start on, oh, God. Viscous UV beam. Furthest knockdown survivor. Turn to face target. Speed 4, accuracy 4, damage plus is uh, solar plus solar. Wow. If this attack dealt no damage, draw AI. Hmm. It doesn't say to move, though. <laughs> so I guess it's ranged. Oh, Jesus. All right. Insanity. Prism dehydrate. Speed of five? Yep. He's going to be a fun one. Oh, this is bullshit. We can do it. We got this. So, solar flare. Oh, do you have any flammable gear? Um, I hope not. Yeah, me too. 
Uh, <laughs> I don't believe so. I was half expecting the King Spear to be flammable. Nope. No flammable. Nice. Cards on the solar track face up from the discard pile. It's all mood cards in play face up from the discard pile. Rotate the sundial. Interesting. So, he only has 10 hit points. By the way, where's his hit locations? Oh, over here. Kids <laughs> <laughs> are dead in the harp channel. Yes, we have a harp. Oh, Hater will go up to two survival. That's a good point. All On arrival, all survivors gain one survival. I keep forgetting about the new Whisker Harp ability. Thank you very much. Yeah. This is why, you know, streaming board games really actually does rock. Yeah. Oh, and I forgot to increase my luck for the luck charm. Yay. Oh, and drop the speed for Chicago Bear on the screen. Because he lost that permanent speed. That really sucks, because I was abusing that with aim. Yeah. That was really nice. Okay, so this is going to be fun. Oh, though, interesting. The uh, other bow that we were looking at, the arc bow, doesn't have aim. Uh, yeah. Yeah, because that's something that they added to the catgut bow. Yeah, I just realized that. Holy crap, this guy is bullshit. Yes, he is. This is some serious A+, plus, you know, this is grade A bullshit. This is like, you know, Cards Against Humanity guys bullshit levels. Uh, I wouldn't quite go that far. Um, yeah, uh, yeah, let's just say we've made some interesting Cards Against Humanity combos. No, 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 no. Remember what Cards Against Humanity did with the bullshit thing? No. They're, they're oh, the, the, bullshit the bullshit where they where they sold a, they sold a game box called Bullshit, and people were like, ah, this is probably a preview of their next game, and a bunch of people bought it, and they actually shipped people boxes of Bullshit. Yeah, it was just 100% including <laughs> Bullshit. Yes, uh, we are officially not getting monetized on this one, are we? <laughs> ah, we just said bullshit a few times. I'm sure that's, I mean, it's a technical term. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Okay, so I just did initial mix on the hit locations. You're welcome to shuffle a little bit more if you would like, so you can ruin them. Um, <laughs> oh, right, so you do have the wisdom card, right? Yes, I do. So flip over that top hit location. Light bending. First strike. If you are in the light, suffer solar damage to star hit locations, then move the monster one space away from the attacker. Cancel all hits now out of range. So that would be three damage in our knockdown. Uh, no, because we're not at level three yet, I thought. Oh, oh, solar flare only kicks in at level three? Okay. Yeah. So um, we don't have anything for level one. Yeah, as the as he discards AI cards, they go onto that track. So every time he does three AI cards, we get a solar flare. Oh, and then they... Okay. After the monster performs AI, place it face down on the solar track instead of on the discard pile. Number of face down cards currently on the solar track. Oh, and then once the third hits, they remove or something? Yeah, if you look at the solar flare stuff. Okay. Um... Oh, uh, place cards on the solar track and uh, face up on the discard pile. Place all mood cards in play face up on the discard pile. Rotate 90 degrees. Okay, so this set will max out at three. I thought it was going to keep building forever. No. <laughs> that would have been bad. Okay. Okay. Well, did you pass monster controller at all? No, I have not yet passed monster controller. So, yeah, he's going to go first. And we start on this side of the board. Oh, we do? Yes. Okay. Um, so we need to decide where we're going to start. So I'm thinking for the most part, Chicago Bear is going to run to get the salt statue. So what does the salt statue get us? Um, if you are in darkness, uh, you crack the surface and harvest a handful of salt, carefully storing it. Light penetrates the sculpture from the inside, and in one brilliant moment it is gone. Gain one salt strange resource. Okay. So we want those. Um, how many spaces? So note you're going to have to be in darkness with respect to the sundial, so you can only harvest it from one direction. So that's three turns in order to be able to get it. Okay. So I will start in this path. Okay. This is an attacker. Okay. 
Okay. So Grumpy's an attacker, so line him up to try to get behind the Sunstalker. So that should okay. work. Um... This is going to be interesting. Mm -hmm. I, I'm really actually looking forward to this right now. Yeah, both of these characters need to hit him. Yeah. Stuff. So I could always have uh, Chicago Bear then run over and get the second salt. Yeah. He's going to be mostly rawhide headbanding to try to help us to sh or uh, prevent prevent that legendary card and that other and the red light green light from coming out. Okay. So that's his goal. So he's mostly. Oh, and he's going to shoot a claw head. Okay. So, all right. So I think this is a reasonable, maybe, way to set up. Yeah, I'm I mean, fine with given that. that we don't know what's going to happen I yet. would... Yeah, that seems reasonable. That way you could possibly run around him and all that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. I'd actually put both your guys on the other side. So they'd be in front of him? Oh, so that no one's in his facing. Good call. I mean, you know, like, yeah, it may not be good, Does but... he go first? Uh, yes. He does. Okay, let's see that first AI card. Let's do this. There you go. Uh, Cosmic Roar. Intimidate all survivors. All survivors with less than six courage instinctively retreat. Okay, so Chicago will retreat. Yeah, both of mine retreat. Okay. Um, each gain, each gains star insanity. That's nice. Um, and suffers knockback 12 directly towards the survivor's starting board edge. We can resolve this in any order that we want, but that's still going to be a problem. No, no, no. We just only toward the board edge, not along it, just toward it. It said explicitly toward the board edge. Usually if you suffer knockback when you're against a board edge, though, you knock back along no, the board edge. Yes, but it only says explicitly towards the board edge. Mm-hmm. So that's different. And we won't collide with the monster. So I don't think this actually does anything to us. This is supposed to fuck with us and keep us from getting to the salt on Betty. Okay. So that could have been worse. If any of our viewers highly disagree with our conclusion here, please let us know. And we would be happy to uh, play pinball on the side of the board. <laughs> yeah. Okay, other than that, um, run me up four with uh, Chicago. Yep. I don't think I'm in range to shoot him yet, so I will dash and try to keep it. Yeah, he's seven. Okay, so I will dash and try to keep it. I do keep the survival, so go up another four. And now I will shoot him with the clawhead arrow. Okay. And I am going to use champion's right. Okay. So that means um, Champion's Right does what again? That's for uh, accuracy, correct? Uh, yes. Okay, so I hit him on anything but a one. Okay. That is a three. So Clawhead Arrow hits, which means I drop his thing. There we go. And the Clawhead Arrow is spent. Uh, if you are in the light, suffer one net damage to... Uh, the hit locations to one hit location. Bonkers. I don't know though. I think it might be two. Because it would make the most sense that if you're placing the cards on the board, that it would be the level that's revealed. No, uh, the number of face down cards currently on the solar track. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, suffer one damage to one hit location. Then move the monster one space away from the attacker. Uh, cancel all hits now out of range. You're not out of range. Doesn't Yay! Matter, though. So, uh, uh, you, now I try to wound. Yeah, now you try to wound. So what's his uh, toughness again? Ten? Ten. Okay, I have 11 strength on this. Okay. That is a wound. First blood! Woo! Okay, now I can't shoot with the cat cut bow. Okay. <laughs> does anybody need to eat? Like, does which is the character that needs to eat stuff? What do you mean? Disorders. Uh, that oh, that is uh grumpy. Okay. So who's next to him? Hadar is next to him. Who doesn't have any disorders? What about the other guy? Does. He right. does. He yes. has prey, right? Yes. Okay, so have Hadar go first. Get him out of the way. Wrong guy. That's mine. Uh. Okay. 
Okay. Oh, okay. Uh, so Hidar is going to go. Um. One, two, three, four, five. He has a rawhide set. Unfortunately, he's also got only two survival, which fucking sucks. Oh, that hurts. We need to get up there and start wounding him. Yeah. So I will roll to attempt to keep the survival when dashing. Okay. Nope. <laughs> nope. Don't keep that survival. Not for you. All right. Uh, oh, what's club specialization? Uh, hold on one second. Might as well attack from the blind spot. Yeah. Uh, club. Uh oh, I forgot to give you that. And we need to look at the top of the card. Club specialization. When attacking with a club on a perfect hit, double your wound attempt total on the first selected hit location. Limit once per attack. Okay. Well, this doesn't do me that much good because I have a shit ton of speed. <laughs> so I roll four. And what do you hit on? I hit... Oh, shit. Oops. I forgot something. Uh-oh. We have a lion knight. What's that? You have the tactics cards. Oh, shit. We forgot tactics. Mm-hmm. So how does this work? Uh, we shuffle and draw one tactics card. Oh, okay. Sweet, yeah, we have never had a tactics card in a streamed game. We did once before. Yes. Because there was something else that gave us a tactics card to fight you. Actually, no, we've only ever had tactics cards in streamed games because our very first streamed game was, uh, included the Flower Knight, and I believe that that was the first time that we ever had yeah, you're right. of the badges. That was it. Okay, so our tactics card today is Trip Formation. Once per showdown, during your act, if you are directly in front of the monster and there are at least two survivors in its blind spot, you may surge, or or no, you may spend an action to trip the monster. If you do, the monster suffers knockback one away from you and is knocked down. So it knocks down those two... It, it lies with, with the two, two people. people. But you knock it down. Yeah. So if you can set it up properly... That could be good. Yeah. Interesting. Okay. So, in any case, he's behind him. Um, I hit on a 3+. plus. Okay, cool. That would be three hits. Yep. Dun, dun, dun. So that's a big uh, deck, which is Dramatic nice. Dramatic Blow, Cosmic Spiracle, and Cosmic Stalk Nipple. <laughs> Oh god, this game. Mm-hmm. Okay. He has stock nipples. Yeah. You sent something and they end your attack before attempting to wound. So in that case, that would give me the frenzied brain trauma. That seems bad. Yeah. So, prismatic gills, all survivors within solar, so that's two spaces of the monster, suffer bash, solar damage, and knockback 12. Okay. Yeah, I love this guy. He's great. Yeah, he's going to be awesome. Alright, so I'm going to start with the Cosmic Stalk Nipple. <laughs> I crit on a 9 or a 10. I wound on anything but a 1. Oh, nice. Take the nipple! Take the nipple! That's a wound. Wounded. Any uh, side effect on that one? Reflex. Turn the monster to face the attacker. And uh, then if you are in darkness, which I am not, nope. then rotate the sundial start 90 degrees clockwise. Alright, no. If you are in darkness, oh. which I am not. Okay. Alright, so next is prismatic gills. Oh, I forgot. Uh, double. I can double my wound attempt against the first hit location, right? That was what it said? Um, if you have a perfect hit. Oh, only if you have a perfect hit. Okay. Yes. So, Prismatic Gills. Let's see what happens. That's a crit. Ooh! Gain one Prismatic Gills Sunstalker resource. Chunks of glor fly into the air, casting a momentary shadow. You are in darkness until the end of the attack. Oh! There is only one Prismatic Gill in the deck. 
Um, when you gain this, gain the emotionless disorder. Oh, well, shit. <laughs> and it is an organ. Okay. It is a gills that emit a fuzzy color trail. Emotionless. Uh, you don't have any emotions you've hidden from everyone by mimicking their social interactions. You cannot gain plus one strength tokens. Okay. So that's not horrible for that uh, character. It kind of sucks a little bit because I have a knock. I have a steadfast potion on him. Oh. And that's useless because I can't gain that. God, that person's just grabbing all the resources, aren't they? Yeah, they really are. All right, so. If I attack this location, I will frenzy. Like, if I wound this location, I will frenzy. Which you're probably going to do. Well, I can elect not to attack the location oh, you if can. I don't want to. Then I would elect not to attack it. Even though you only have one survival left, that can be very important. Though I could wound him. <laughs> you got your check mark. I did get my check mark. All right. I will elect not to wound him. I sense something and may end my attack before attempting to wound. Okay. So, so your other character, can you dash next to, and, and next to me? Dude, like, then I will not be attacking the monster. You know, you know that, right? Like, well, that is the problem, like, if we do it that way. I don't... Let's see. Can I arrange... One of us is going to not be able to attack the monster this turn. Well, that's what I was checking. Um, I don't think I can reach it at all anyways. No. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, I have eight. Oh, okay. I have reach weapon, but I'll keep me one away. Yeah. All uh, right. Then in that what's case... What's your movement? My movement is five. You have a full five? Yes. Okay. Then uh, move me over to you. And I will uh, eat your uh, thing. All right. Craig which is gone. Gives me plus one permanent strength. And I gain a balloon token, putting me at two. Okay. Note: Chicago Bear does have bandages. Okay, that's good. Um, so that increases him up to right now eight strength. Um, and then I will. Is does he have any uh, moods in play? No. He does not. Okay, then technically I will have spent a survival as, for that as a dash, and I'm saving the rest of his action in case the Sunstalker happens to move into a place where I can reach him. Okay. So, um, but you had to dash and search. Oh, no, you didn't. No. Just once per... Yeah, so once per uh, showdown, without any Oh, wait, uh, doesn't action. it say during your act? Um... Because I think it was during your act. I don't think it's like, it doesn't cost an activation, but I think... Oh, then I just moved. Okay. I can always search to uh, attack if I have to. Yeah, you could in fact both dash and search. Yeah. Oh no, you don't have to. Oh, sweet. Just says you may ag either do some order. Very nice. I thought it said during your act, because it usually does. Okay. <sighs> I'm up to eight strength. Alright, so bedtime is going to... So we still need people with, to get uh, um, uh, check marks, right? Oh yeah, both of mine do, but I'm not so worried about that right now because I only need one more for Axe. Okay, so bedtime is going to move five and then dash. He won't be able to get behind just for now. That's fine. I know, I'm just letting you know. Nine. I have a lot of survival. Note the Sun Soccer does puke. What? Just as a heads up, you should flip that top hit location. You're correct. Uh, wound all survivors within solar plus one, so within two spaces will suffer bash solar damage and knockback 12. I oh. hate this guy. <laughs> okay, so uh, I am using the beacon shield to attack. Ah, sweet. Do you have, like, champion's right or anything? No. Damn it. <laughs> uh, it starts with six. I have two accuracy, which puts it down to a four. Minus, zero, minus one because of that, which puts it down to a three. Very nice. So. By the way, I'm just shuffling up the resource cards to get them mixed, because they were not at all. Yeah. Oh, I forgot I have negative one speed. It doesn't matter, really, because, you know, you can't go below one. Yeah. All right, so three plus. Got it. Good enough. That's a hit. Now you need to wound it. 
yeah. Uh. All right, so. Oh right, that only has one speed, doesn't it? Yes. Uh, it has five strength plus two, which would put me at a seven. Seven. So you need to hit three or higher. Three or higher. I am actually going to use faded blow on this. So that's going to deal an additional wound, but. That's well, and that gives you two more strength. Yeah. So, so I hit anything on any, but one. Anything but a one. Oh come on, that would be great. Get that shield done now. That's a wound. Anything but a one. So that is two wounds. Yep. Unfortunately. Why? Because uh, two wounds means, uh, like, it, it kills him faster, which is both good and bad. Yeah. However, wound. All survivors within two spaces of the monster, which are both of mine, suffer bash. He, one so of your guys down, is immune. Yeah. He's immune to bash. She's immune to bash. So, um, please roll for my two characters. Okay. So... so Pink is for your uh, brown character. Okay. Hands to your brown and body to the other. Okay. Hands to the brown, so that's down to three, and body, so that's down to four. All right, and then knock back 12. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's rough. Get the fuck away, it uh, says. Okay, so now for my other character's action, just move him four towards the monster. There we go. All right. So now monster controller moves. Oh, wait. I'm going to surge with a uh, Chicago bear. Okay. See if I keep it. I do. And rawhide. <laughs> Both are basics. Um, Verdant bubble. He'll do a basic action. When solar flare discards... This card, the bubble bursts, spilling a colored haze into the air. The monster absorbs the color from the haze and gains a speed token. Ouch. Um, but that would not add another card to the deck, because... Yeah. And then Sun Stare. The monster pauses, its eyes widening in an unpleasant sight. Closest threat in field of view. That would be Chicago. Um, or is it? Yes, it'd be Chicago. Um, intimidate. The target feels the gaze. They suffer five brain damage and are knocked down. And then they suffer <gasps> sun damage that ignores armor to every hit location. Um, so I think we're putting a verdant bubble in play. Uh, Holy shit! Fuck that noise. Oh my like, god. Okay, so monster controller already moved. So I guess we'll just put Burden And he does basic action. What's his basic action? Okay. Furthest threat <laughs> in darkness. No one. None of us are in darkness. Closest survivor. That would so be me. That would, yeah, unfortunately that would be you. Um, move and attack target. Okay. It has so much movement. Uh, speed of three. Accuracy is four plus. Damage is two plus one, three, because it's the sun. And then after damage, knock back 12. Well, shit. Well, it's not that. So well, speed yeah. three, accuracy four plus. Yes. Uh, five. Uh, five plus for my character. Okay. Oh. Oh wait, I forgot my extra evasion from that. Six plus. I have the rawhide hookup. Oh shit. One hit. I can dodge this. Yes, you can dodge this. <laughs> I do not keep the survival. So because you dodged it, you do not take the after damage effect, which was not back 12. Which was the whole point of dodging that. Yes, and since that was his basic action, it does not add to the track. Okay, so now it's our turn? Yes. Okay, I'm going to try to get my bow check mark. Hmm. Hadar is going to stand up because it's the start of the survivor's turn, and, and we all have oh fist and tooth specializing. Getting that mastery was so good. Yes. Fist and tooth mastery is the bomb. Um, okay. So all you need is fist and tooth and shield. Oh, how does... I need to look up bow again. Um, reroll any missed attacks once. Yes, so... You may reroll. No. Yes, so now the question is, do I do two attacks at 6+, plus or one attack at 4+. plus? I think two at 6+, plus is better. Odds. Yeah, I think so. I think technically that's better odds of getting a hit. Mm -hmm. Two hits. 
Oh, we forgot to put the hippo piece Oh, on. yeah. Oh. Oh. And the top card was the trap. Well, shit. Okay. Uh, we don't have... The, well, I do have a spear. But we need to pay attention to that. What? The top card. Yeah. Just flip it right away after drawing. Is it's probably... really easy to say that, but it's hard to remember. I know, but maybe that'll help. But here we go. All survivors are doomed. The tentacle grabs the attacker, place them in the free space in front of the monster. Already there. Um, it power vomits a hot, steaky, or streaky kaleidoscope of brilliant colors. <laughs> Rainbow <laughs> vomit. What? Rainbow vomit. Rainbow <laughs> vomit of kaleidoscope. Rainbow vomit. Oh my god. Wish we had like a non-cad uh, animation to throw across the screen suddenly. Yeah, though there's a different meme for that. Oh, there is? Uh -huh. Oh, okay. Um, vomit zone. Each row in this zone ends at the first space occupied by a survivor. Okay. So it's just hitting both of our guys. Yeah. Um, archive destructible terrain in the vomit zone. That would be that stone column. Destructible. When a survivor collides with this, stop their movement. Okay. Does not matter. Okay. Um... Survivors in the Vomit Zone suffer three damage to two hit locations. Okay. Okay, so... Two hit locations. Let's start with me. Chicago Bear. Arms and head. There goes all my armor on both. Now for you. Okay. Arms and arms. Okay. Six damage. Oh, that's a problem. Um, okay, well, I am unbreakable. <laughs> yeah, six damage. So that's going to be... I am knocked down. <laughs> and I roll on the table. Okay. This is nasty. Yeah. Especially when I roll like shit. Yeah. Wow. All right, so arms, double check, steadfast, yeah, whatever. Nine, dislocated shoulder, you pop. You cannot activate two-handed or paired weapons or use block until the showdown ends. Gain one blade. So that's not too bad. Yeah. Okay, now we both gain the Black Bub Blood Survivor Status Card, which is this. When your blood has your blood has changed color, while you have this, place your bleeding tokens on this card. They cannot be removed. When you die, place a shade in your in your in the space you occupied. If you have more than five bleeding tokens and you don't die, conquer the shadow. Yeah, like I think if you have unconscious fighter. So this immediately takes my one bleed token, I believe. Yes. Okay. Oh yeah, unconscious fighter. Okay. Place all cards on the solar track into the discard pile. You can now flip it over, yes. And rotate the sundial to 90 degrees. Wait, when solar flare discards this card. Okay, so solar flare didn't have it. Nope. So that actually stops the solar flare. Yeah, that's a good point. Well, kind of. I think I would have rather had the solar flare. I uh. know, but like, <laughs> it's interesting the way that works. Yes. Okay. Now, could I surge and dash together to do another attack? No. I cannot? No. Okay. Then I am going to dash to move to here. Okay. And let's see if I keep it. I do not. Ouch. That was rough. Yep. Wow. Oh, that, that, that was a rough hit. Um, and then I'm going to try to encourage your character because you haven't gone yet, right? You don't have a uh, uh, Shattered Jaw, do you? No, I do not. Okay. That's only Grumpy. You are encouraged, and I do not lose it. Okay. I'm going to try to get my axe check mark, I think. Okay. So, I'm going to wait to see the card. <laughs> Seems important.
Okay. Brilliant mouth. It is the death blow. So not a big if deal. Attacking from the light, what suffer minus five strength when attempting to wound this location? Ooh. Oh. Okay. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to dash. So. I don't think he casts shadows. Oh yeah, he does not. You are correct. Never mind. Okay, then I will just. Uh, let's see. What's my? Oh, I have massive fucking accuracy. Okay, I'm not going to dash. I'm just going to move up and attack. Okay. Okay. So I hit. On anything but a one. All right. Two hits. Need to look up something? Uh, yes, I'm double-checking the, the dislocated arm. Shoulder. Ah. Two-handed repair shots or use blocks. Ouch. Oh, fuck. This is some nasty stuff. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm going to try the Brilliant Mouth first. So negative five strength. So that means I have an actual total of six strength on the attack. Okay, so, so I, four plus. Four plus the wound us. Crit does nothing. Why couldn't I roll that on the next card? But I do get my check mark, which means at the end of this fight, he will be an Axe Master. Nice. Oh, that would have been nice. The three small sun teeth and the shark tongue? tongue? Yeah. Oh, if my wound attempt fails, I may ignore it and attempt to wound a selected hit location again. Okay. With my basic right now. Nice. Um, okay. So now the second location. I do crit pretty well. Oh, shit, I forgot riot base. God damn it. I've got a deadly weapon, so I crit on 7, 8, 9, or 10. Nice. And this one I will wound on anything but a one. Okay. And I'm about to get the shit kicked out of me if I don't crit. Okay. That's a crit! Yay for plus two luck and a deadly weapon. <laughs> um, the attacker is drenched in ink. Gain one shadow ink gland sun soccer resource. Mm -hmm. This could be good or bad given that last one. Hmm. There's only one of these in the deck. The ink can be used to paint shadows that vanish in lantern light. Nothing special. And um, persistent injury inked. Until the showdown ends, the survivor that caused this wound is always in darkness. Yes. That's actually nice. Yeah, that's interesting. Yeah. All right. Okay. Um, how many AI cards does he have left? Two. That's it? Yes. Fuck, and I still need a bow badly. Okay. So we probably don't want to hurt him much. Yeah. But we need to get the soul. Yes. Okay, so it's your guys' turns. So should we be prioritizing trying to get the salt? Then? Yeah, with your guys definitely, I think. Okay. And then my bow guy should be prioritizing wounding him. <laughs> Alright, so bedtime... Uh, yeah, bedtime is going to start running. Oh, wait. Um, I'm going to surge with Grumpy Quick. Okay. And I'm going to try my Whisker Harp. Okay. I know it'll add another card technically into it, but I'd rather be safe than sorry. Okay. I do not get it. All right, so, um... Yeah, actually, I don't want to surge with Hadar anyways. Do we want to, like, so if we put, co if I rawhide, Cosmic War, oh, but I can place it. Okay, yeah. So that's fine. One, two, three, four, five. I'm yeah. not going to... You're not going to dash? No. Uh, because I only have one survival. Oh, yeah. So wait it until, makes sense to not do it. So wait I'm until gonna, you, you're within range to, to be able to actually use it. Yeah, I am going to rawhide. Okay. Um... Oh, God. Uh, so, none of us are in darkness except for your character who is always in darkness. That is correct. Um, okay, so, uh, this would be a speed 5, accuracy 5, plus damage 1. However, if the head to hit location is rolled more than once, doesn't say if you, like, it doesn't seem to imply that you can dodge it. Yeah. 
Uh, the target's face and hair are desaturated. Remove any gear worn at that location and return it to the settlement storage. Reduce the target's head armor levels by the armor value of the gear. Okay. Oh, wait, it goes back to settlement storage. So okay. it's not as bad. That's not too bad. In that case, I'm... Oh, but that's before damage, so then you're guaranteed to take a severe injury to the head. Yes, which is bad. Okay. What's the other card? All survivors with less than six courage uh, gain star insanity, so one insanity, and suffer knockback 12 directly towards the survivor's starting board edge. Oh, that'd be bad. Yeah. Um, so if who's prison that... dehydrate, the accuracy is five plus. And who's it going to target? Anybody who's in darkness, which is just you. Oh, he can take that. Okay. Yeah, he should be able to handle that. How many? He, how much evasion does he have? He has one. Okay. So or no, sorry. He has one native, and then I've got the monster grease for two. So then he'd hit you on a seven plus, rolling five times, and we'd have to roll the head location twice, twice, and then that would just mean that the head armor was archived, or was put to the settlement storage. Which is his hideous disguise, so his strength would drop by one. Wait, he can't. That's cursed. He can't remove it. So. Oh, so he'd be fine. He'd keep it. Yeah. Oh, sweet! Yeah, I don't think that that can happen. Hey, Morth, happen. thank you for joining, yeah. Okay, so we will eat Prism Dehydrate. That sounds good. And then, um, this character... Uh, one, two, three, four, five, and then she will run. Okay, and you don't want to end up within... Or no, darkness is not a problem. So... Oh, wait, she can't actually keep survival. Hello, darkness, my old friend. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So there we go. That is done. Uh, I think that's it for us. Yes, that would be the end of our... Okay. So now, Monster Controller, we choose Prism Dehydrate. Hey, another. Thank you for joining. Inky, color warping tendrils spout from the dark, sprout from the darkness and race across the ground. Target all survivors in darkness. The only character who is in darkness... Does he turn to face? Uh, it just says attack targets, okay. so it's not turn to face. Um, it just says attack targets. Okay, roll the so... five hits. And it's uh, seven plus to hit me. Roll low. Roll low. Uh, that One hit. Is two hits. Two hits. There's a nine. Okay. Roll two hit locations. Head and body. So the before damage doesn't happen because I didn't roll it twice. Yep. So what? Ha how much damage do I take? One to each. One to each. Head and body. And then this goes on the chart. Ah. Oh, so that's technically like a wound to him. Yeah. Interesting. So we are running low on time. Okay, so now it's our turn? Yes. Get, um, yeah, we should... Get the statues. All right, so... You have to get into this part yeah. of each. One, two, three, four, five. So you so dash. I did dash, so it drops me to seven survival. And now you spend your action, and you just remove it and get the salt. Okay. And now I need to find salt. Hello, darkness, my old friend. Where is... There's the salt. Yeah, <laughs> the strange resources get kind of ridiculous. Oh, oh. What? You may add this to any cooking recipe to gain plus one permanent strength in addition to the recipe's listed benefits. That's not bad. Yeah. Okay, would you like to... So you can go five with him? Yeah. That would be five, nine. So you yeah, can make so it. Yeah, so I will dash and lose my <laughs> survival, and if I die... Oh, wait, no, I may not um, lose my last survival. Uh, I do last survival. Uh, so the salt can also be used for uh, some gear from the Sunstalker. It is required. What? What? Okay. All right, so that happens. <laughs> some Sunstalker steaks. Oh, God, I don't want to eat that. Uh... <laughs> Okay, so time to attack with the bow. Isn't there something about gooey duck and... Mm. Anyways. Anyways, here we go. That's two hits. I love this, the name of this fucking kit location. Fertility Clasper. <laughs> and Engulf in Light. Is it First Strike? Discard this card without attempting to wound. Uh, it is not a first strike. So I will do the other one first. Oh no, light speed. It's uh, that's a special 
Uh oh. Uh oh. Because I'm fairly sure that's better than first strike. <laughs> yes, antelope stakes would be better. Light speed locations are faster than first strike hit locations. An attacker must select light speed hit locations before first strike hit locations and before any other type of hit location jerk cards. Okay. Okay, rotate the sundial clockwise. Can you handle that? Not a problem. We already got what we wanted. Yep. Um, and if that isn't possible, so we skip that part, discard this card without attempting to wound. Okay. Okay, so now... I strike a strangely shaped appendage. Oh, Does... wait. Was it? It was this way, right? Yeah, like, it doesn't need to uh, change. Oh, wait. Oh, shit. What? You cannot be in the light. You're in the darkness until the end of the showdown, right? Isn't no, that's that the other character. That's the other character? Yeah. Okay. All right. So, so you do have to rotate it. Uh, we don't need to actually rotate it if you're already in the light, which I think oh, you already Oh, okay. Did, did, is, Why do no, you say we don't need to rotate it? It just, it says, just says rotate it clockwise until the attacker is in the light. You're oh. already in the light, so it doesn't matter. Okay. Oh, so if I was forced into dark regardless, then I would... Oh, I then see. Then it would start shrieking and... Bad know. shit happens. Okay. Yeah, yeah antelope for uh, some salted meats or actual cooking recipes. Yeah. Um, okay, so now I need a two plus to wound. That's all I need. A two plus the wound. Okay. Fuck me! Yeah. Are you... Oh, come on. You didn't do anything this turn, right? No. You need to, like, remember that you can surge and use your movement and then get a second attack. Of That's what I would have done. Yeah. Okay. But you need to remember to say that because okay. it makes it a little bit clearer. And I would have lost the survival. I knew there was a way to do it, and that's where I was getting confused. Yeah. Okay, so now I will do the exact opposite. Let's see if I keep that survival. I do not. Uh, could you hand me the hit location card? Yes. And what's the top? <laughs> <laughs> yes, you do not have to attack at this point. This is a first strike impervious location. Um, archive any soluble gear in your gear grid. I do not have that. Okay. Um, if you are in the light, you will suffer three damage and then move the monster two spaces directly away from the attacker. Which I'm fine with. Okay. Okay. So that's, uh, one hit to start, and I'm re-rolling the other one because of my proficiency. Okay. Which is now a second hit, because he, the negative evasion, uh, that we gave him at the start. Thank yeah. God. It's the trap. Who? Oh, oh, shit, that's a bee. That's just a, that's a bumblebee. No, it is not. Bumblebees are fuzzy. That's not fuzzy. Where the fuck is he? I don't know. <laughs> but I don't like bees. He was in here, like, three days ago. I don't like bees. Neither do I. I don't like them. Oh, yeah, I'm allergic. Uh, my mother's allergic, and I've been stung once. Oh, that means that you're probably going to be allergic again. Yeah, you can't tell... Like, if I'm prone to being out allergic, it's not the first sting that gets you, it's the second thing. Yeah, I know. Um, that's how I found out I was allergic. Um, oh my earlobe became giant. Oh, God. Okay, so he went somewhere I don't know where. As I our viewers are where. like, <laughs> Kingdom Death. <laughs> <laughs> I think our viewers are finding this amusing. Okay. I don't want to die. <laughs> <laughs> we're playing Kingdom Death Monster. That doesn't mean we're supposed to die in real life. Okay. Ah! It's buzzing. It's yeah, buzzing. It. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Holy shit. Oh, God. I mean, technically speaking, it should be me that's doing it because I might not be allergic. Oh. Ah. You're going to piss it off. Well, it's already pissed. Uh, why won't our cats do their fucking <laughs> job? Did you get it? I think I got it. No, it's buzzing. That doesn't mean I didn't get it. <laughs> As our viewers are like, the fuck? <laughs> Yeah, hold on. I 
can just imagine the people on fucking YouTube. They can't see what I'm doing right now. I'm bashing our our blackout curtains. Okay, I think I got it. I did feel it whack. But I don't know where it went, so don't step on the curtains. Oh, great. <laughs> and we'll try to look for a dead bee when we're done. Okay. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> bees are not aggressive. We don't care. Guy <laughs> made of bees. Oh, God. <sighs> okay. okay. All right. So we were in the middle of a vomit kaleidoscope. Yes. A tentacle grabs, place them in a free space in front of the monster. Okay. So you get placed in a free space in front of the monster. Yep. Um, no, our, no destructible terrain. I suffer three, three damage. damage to two hit locations. So roll me two hit locations. It's still alive. It's on the other side of the curtains. Body and waist. Oh. That is good. I don't think it likes us. No, as long as it stays over there. No, I don't want, I want it dead. Hey, well, that too. <laughs> I don't actually want it dead, I just want it gone. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, I just felt something like yeah. my foot touch my own leg and I started freaking out. Okay, gain the black blood survivor status card. Which I already have. Okay. Um, and rotate the uh, discard so we have another I... AI to go through. Oh, fucking B. <laughs> he wanted to roll dice. <laughs> God. <laughs> Okay. I'd like to point out that the bee is not dead. Yeah. We can hear the bee. It's it, it may be not on its best like situation, but it is definitely not dead. Yes. Okay, so that happened. Uh, oh. and that's done. Okay, so and yep. It's kind of funny. We've got this virgin bubble out here and it hasn't done shit. Cause we just haven't gotten a solar flare because we keep hitting the trap fast enough to Yep. Okay, so we're, if we want my guy to have a chance with the bow, we're going to have to basically just end our turn again. Well, we can take Prism Dehydrate again, because it doesn't really matter that much against that character, I think. Um, correct. So. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. Uh, wait, uh, Hadar, Hadar did not surge this turn, so he can surge. Cause oh, because he can. solve this turn. So he can stack the deck. Yes. Oh no, he can't surge. So he can't stack the deck? Yeah, because he has survival. Which means, which means, it's, means going to... it's going to be that other card. Oh, it is. The Intimidate one. Fuck. Do you have your shield characters too far away? Uh, yeah. Damn it. Um, and I don't want to hit with the axe. Well, I wouldn't kill him with the axe. Mm-hmm. It doesn't I would really just matter. take him down to basic action. It doesn't really matter, because we're going to be taking another attack anyways, probably. Yes, but it would be basic action, potentially. Yeah, furthest threat in darkness. Which is the basic action? Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to hit him with my axe. That's a shit ton of damage, though, by the way. I know, but it's better than having the other card go off. Oh, you know, you should wait until I finish shuffling oh, the yeah. location deck, just so that we know what we're getting I into. I don't puke him again. Even if we decide... <laughs> Not to... Don't, don't be, be murderers. murderers. Oh! Alright. It is a super dense location. Reflexes perform basic action. Okay. So you will get nailed twice, possibly, or whatever. So that would be... Two hits. Can't see the second card. Oh, uh, if I wound all survivors within two spaces, suffer bash... No damage. Or wait, no, within one space. Suffer bash, no damage, and knock back 12. Okay. Fuck. Oh, shit! There he is again. I got him! You did? I did get him! <laughs> For real? He's dead? Yeah. I got him hard. I don't know where he ended up, but I got him, and I knocked everything off of our shelf. Oh, boy. <laughs> Some of that is uh, not coming back together again. Oh, shit. 
Was that dragons? Yeah. That we really need to move those. Yeah. To stop bringing them back down. Oh yeah, and that was Yuri. Yeah, Yuri probably can go back together. It's yeah. Probably not permanently destroyed, but I think that Tardis is. <laughs> yeah, that Tardis is toast. Well, we'll go back to game. No. <laughs> This is part of streaming. Oh, yes. Oh, coming to show the destroyed TARDIS. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to clean this shit. Oh, God. Oh, there he is. He's dead. Well, he, or he's playing dead convincingly. Yes. Yeah, I, I think the TARDIS has, has lost it. Though, honestly speaking, we can probably glue it back together. So. That is a dead bee. Not quite dead. Not quite fully dead. <laughs> He's dead now. <sighs> As Rico's probably downstairs going, what the fuck? Uh, apparently other people are, uh... <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> yeah, quick sonic Frank's like, what the hell are you guys doing? <laughs> 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 well, technically we were. We just murdered a bee. <laughs> yes, in fact, the murderer was the mur- Like, well, I don't know. I don't know whether or not we could say that you have the most- At least I didn't knock this over. Oh, you know what? We probably have the most Hontax bee as players. And he's like the least favorite guy in the settlement. Anyway, so. <laughs> wow. Anyways. Oh, yeah, hearing that noise with those lights and Jerry Ring. Oh, God, yes, the crashing sound. It's like the whole thing fell apart. Yeah, I'm sorry, Morith, but, like, seriously, both of us could very well be allergic, and yes, yes. some of them... That bee was fucking huge. I don't know what what type of bee it was, so, yeah, if it was a And it a had a big bee, stinger. Okay. I could see a big stinger on it. I don't know whether or not it was actually a bee or a wasp, but I just know that I just don't want to die. Okay, we're back to the game in theory. Yes. Okay. So, this is the X. Um, yeah. So, so super dense. I can wound it. Yes. So, reflex perform basic action. Will it knock me back or anything like that? Okay. Nicole? Uh, will basic action do that to me? Uh, yes, knock back 12. Knock back 12? It okay. is a 3 accuracy 4 two. You damage. Okay, so I'm going to go for the Sun Shark Molar first. Okay. Um, and I wound on anything but a one. Okay. That is a wound. All right. Which so means he performs basic action. Which means that other card stays in. Yes. Oh, shit. But he's going to go chasing after the guy, isn't he, to do another... To no, do that. Prism Dehydrate doesn't... He doesn't move for. Okay, he's good. He's stuck at this point. All right, so... He attacks you. It's a speed of three and attack accuracy of four plus. What's do you have any? Uh, I have evasion? two evasion, so six plus. Okay. That one is hit. One hit. I will dodge. You are not dodging. I am not dodging. It's a reflex, so this is during oh. the attack, so you can't dodge. It's to the arms. And so that's... you take two damage to the arms and knock back the wall. Okay, pull me against the wall. There we go. And that cancels the other attack, which means I don't cause wounds to my other guy. Yeah. Which is key. All right. So that is that. And the top card is going to be the light speed. We'll rotate the sundial clockwise until the attacker is in the light. Okay. So. I have to get two hits off. Uh, wait, but is, which guy? This is the darkness guy, right? Yes. The guy who's always in the darkness? All right. Yeah, then, yeah, you'd have to get two hits off, otherwise it doesn't matter. Yeah, which uh, my bow usually does. Yeah, I was just curious as to whether or not it was that guy because of the effect of this. Oh, uh, yep, we are on Lantern Year 12, I believe, still. I've been actually keeping that up. Yes, we are. Just verifying, because, you know, sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Mort. <laughs> oh, Jesus. No honey for me for a year would be fine. I would also be fine. No, you like honey mustard. Oh, shit. Yeah, that's a good point. <laughs> all right, so. All right. Okay, so now we're just going to end our turn. Yes, we are going to end our turn. Okay, um, move monster controller. Monster controller moves. And now the five attacks at seven plus. Yes, target all survivors in the darkness. Which is only my one guy. Five speed. Hello, darkness, my old friend. I know, I've done that a few times. Accuracy is what? Seven plus. Seven plus. 
That would be two, two hits. hits. Do not hit the head twice. Not that it fully matters with him. Waste and body. One hit, two damage each. That is not bad. Though, he's surprisingly getting low on armor. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, so now our turn again. Yes. I'm going to start by dashing and using my basic attack action. I lose the survival. <sighs> That's a great start. Uh huh. One hit. Which is the engulf in life. Which okay. means you're not going to do anything. But Okay, uh, turn the sundial. Okay, it doesn't need to happen. Okay, yeah. flip the next card. That was a car. <laughs> I threw the bee in the trash. Okay. <laughs> it's coming back! Okay. <sighs> Come on! Yeah. Oh! Fuck these dice. Uh-huh. Okay. Oh, I forgot to roll to... I do not keep the second one. <laughs> More at once wow. you to roll for your fate for bee murder. <laughs> <laughs> I think I just did. I just missed all four attack chances. Yeah, I think, uh, I think that he's... Oh, wow, they're sniffing where the bee was. I'm not surprised. There's probably, like, the scent of the honey or whatever. If it was actually a worker bee, it probably didn't have honey on it. Good point. Okay, you can tell I know my bees. Okay, so are we actually just gonna, like, suck it up and take another attack? Yeah. Okay, move me a little bit closer, though, because, I mean, I might as well, just in case we decide that we don't want to, like... I mean, that guy can probably... Yeah, let's... We'll keep you at least three out with you. Huh? Yeah, so that way I can technically yeah. go in and attack if we want to. Okay. So, monster controller moves... And we have Prism Dehydrate. Oh, so the five dice, seven plus. Oh, shit. As I try to kill myself. Oh, wait. Uh, yeah, that's a good point. What? That actually doesn't happen. Sorry, that oh. goes into the sun track. Oh, thank God. So he just does a basic action. Because I was just about to kill myself. Yeah. Um, so what's so the now, basic? Uh... Furthest threat in darkness. So that's my guy? This guy, right? Yep. Okay. Uh, yes, move and attack. So he just wandered right out of range. But I can solemnly get one attack. Yeah, uh, so the speed is three. Okay, accuracy four plus? Yes. So six plus. No hits! Yay! Second roll for the win! <laughs> okay. So now... I dash... And do an attack. Okay. So note that um, you are you are going to suffer minus five strength when attempting to wound this location. Seriously? Yes. Fuck. <sighs> Two hits. It's not first strike, so technically speaking. Oh. Uh, Thanks, Tiss. The other one is. Oh. Uh, if you are in the light, suffer one damage to one hit location. Okay, so. Roll me a hit location? No, you roll a hit location. Oh, right, I do. Body. Body! And then it moves one space away, away from, from the you. attacker. So, one that way. Or no, one... Oh, it could go either. So go that way, so I don't collide. <laughs> okay. And now... No, you can still roll to wound this location. Oh, oh, cancel all hits. Yeah, you can still roll to oh, wound, I can wound this location. Oh, I, I can try to wound this? Yeah. Oh, sweet. Okay, so this one I have eight strength, so I just need a two or higher. That's a wound. Okay, he is dead. He is dead. And I got my fucking bow proficiency. Thank God. He wasn't too bad. I think we could take a level two. If we were a bit more aggressive. Yeah. We couldn't do what we, that game plan we were doing. No. Playing a game, I say that. <laughs> Alrighty then. So, how does that? Um, move him off. Move his way. Oh. Alright, so now, uh, on completion... Of the fight. Oh, we get some stuff? Well, 
I should hope so. <laughs> not, this was like the least successful hunt ever. Yeah, no shit. Okay, so. Uh, plus one hunt XP. Okay, I do age on Grumpy. Second age. Okay. I will also age on bedtime, second age. Sweet. All right. So let's complete the age stuff. Yep. So you need to roll 2d10s. Nine. Nine is if probably it's plus still strength, in the fucking middle. I bet you it's plus strength. Nine and age two. Gain one permanent strength. Jesus Christ. All right. That so. is crazy. Bedtime. Improved reflexes. Seven. Also plus one permanent strength. Okay. Wow. All right. Gain weapon. Uh, Pathfinder today. Sorry about that, Never Knows. Thank you for joining. You missed the Sunstalker fight and a bee fight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we had our own little early encounter with the Oblivion Mosquito. Yeah. So we gained Club Mastery. We also gain Axe Mastery. We finally have an Axe Master! Right as Never Knows joins. We already had Axe Master. Oh, we did? Yes. Okay, we have an Axe Master again, because he lost it all. Yeah. Okay. So then, Bedtime Noble is now also a specialist with shield. Not that it matters, because we already had shield mastery. Yep. But that's that. Okay. And we're two off of bow mastery. The first time the Sunstalker is defeated, gained the Sky Reef Sanctuary Settlement location. Yay! All right, Sky Reef Sanctuary Settlement Location. Each survivor who defeated one or more shades gains plus one courage. We yeah, didn't no have shades. Any shades. All right, so uh, we've defeated a level one, so we gain four basic and four Sunstalker resources plus one Sunstone Strange resource. So what do we get? Four basic, uh -huh. four Sunstalker, one Sunstones. Sunstones are strange. Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, uh, don't forget to put out the other resources you have acquired. Sure. So that is not particularly interesting. And then a couple of monster bones. Alrighty then. Well, the Sunstones may be useful for something. Yeah. Oh, the Oblivion Mosquito. Yes. Oh, Spidicky bees. bees. That actually that is tempting is... now. Yeah, that could be pretty ha funny. Have the painter paint it like it's a bee. Yeah. Oh, that could be really cool. Okay, so for... Now everybody's going to vote on the Spidicules getting painted first just because of that. The Spidicky bees. Okay, so for Sunstalker resources. Sun Shark Blubber. Organ. When inflated with air, this blubber gently floats. One. Oops. Cycloid scales hide. Extremely reflective and colorful. Sun shark fin. Bone and hide. Removing <laughs> the slimy hands reveals a curable viscous substance. And one more. Huge sun teeth. Bone. These tough but light teeth are made of hundreds of thin layers of bone separated by rows of dicot stems. Uh, yeah, we're going to immediately go into Pathfinder after settlement. Okay. And for our basic resources, just four? Yep. Hide. Organ. And hide. And last but not least, another hide. Wow. Apparently we're feeling like we want some hide suddenly. Though, oh god, that one. Yeah, that bee made us want to run and hide. <laughs> I think that's it for the hunt. Yeah. Okay. For those on uh, Twitch and Mixer, please stick around. We will be uh, continuing. For those on YouTube, as always, thank you to our patrons on Patreon. And uh, we'll be right back with another video for you.